Hey there and welcome to our quick video on how to do a custom scanner integration to GitLab to enforce um, best practices for container scanning, leveraging a popular linter for Docker files. So my name is um, Alex Das. Um, if you have feedback to the video, you can tag me an issue, Alex minus Das, um, D-E-S-S -S on GitLab. And I'm going to link the um, repositories we're maintaining in regards of that in the description. So it is a important thing to focus on best practices when writing Docker files, right? So you shouldn't uh, use the root user, for example, and you shouldn't use any deprecated things um, like, um, for example, declaring a maintainer for the Docker file, which is um, per se deprecated right now. Uh, so I just like link the best practices for writing Docker files, some of them um, in here from um, the Docker docs directly. And um, I want to make sure that um, this um, is being highlighted to um, my developers and me when I'm making a mistake here. So uh, I choose to integrate um, uh, Hadoop Lint for that purpose. And as you can see, so there is a Docker image available for that. So this will be very easy for us to integrate that to our pipeline. I don't want to only integrate that to the pipeline and then download an artifact where I need to go through and see, okay, there is probably an issue. I want to display that directly into my merge request in GitLab so I can benefit from the immediate feedback from the scan. It is visible. The merge request stays my single pane of glass where I see not only all my security vulnerabilities, but also the results from a code quality scanning. And for me, the, the linting topic goes into the direction of code quality. And that's why we are leveraging um, the code quality report and the code quality widget in order to display our results. How can we do that? So as you see, there is a set of um, artifacts and reports which you can leverage to integrate with the different widgets or different reporting functions into GitLab. So I will use um, the artifact report co-quality in order to do that for my linter integration. Let's go to our um, GitLab CI.yaml file. According to GitLab flow best practices, which I'm uh, following in this demo project, I open an issue saying, okay, I want to add linting to uh, Docker files in the future. And then I created a merge request out of that, which opened a feature branch in here. And you see the changes which I made to that branch. So in terms of like, just like quick uh, doing that, I just show you that. Um, things I already added here. And you see that I added um, something to the test stage, which is present into my current CI pipeline. And I added Docker lint job here, which leverages the image which I presented to you before. And it creates a JSON file, as you can see here, which is then uploaded to our co-quality report in here. That's all I need to do in order to leverage um, the functionality here. Um, but I need to add something that we get something reported. And what I did is I just added like a deprecated um, thing, which I explained before. So I declared me as maintainer of uh, that Docker file. So that should be found by our, our linter and that should be reported to us. So let's go to the overview here. And as you can see, um, so my code quality widget directly in the merge request here tells me, okay, there is a new finding in here. So let's open that up and I see that, okay. So you see that my linter found the issue saying like maintainer is deprecated, displaying where this is the case um, if I go there. So I can directly now go in my IDE, the web IDE or VS Code, fix that and push the new changes. So then my linter will run again and um, the uh, merge, will, merge request will be green and I will go forward merging that. Thanks for watching.